respiratory syncytial virus. It's a common cold virus in you and I, other adults. It would just cause cold symptoms. But in young children, it can cause bronchiolitis, which is inflammation of the smaller breathing tubes in the lungs. The best way to protect your children from getting RSV or from spreading it to other children is good, careful hand washing. And if you can't get to a sink to wash your hands, hand sanitizing, using some form of hand sanitizer, is really the best way to prevent transmission of this virus. Well, you should uh, uh, wash your hands carefully. I generally recommend about 10 seconds at least. Uh, a good way for children to remember uh, is to have them sing happy birthday while they wash their hands. That's about a good length of time to, to really get the lather up and get your hands well clean when you're washing at the sink. If your child has a respiratory infection and is becoming more and more sick, some signs you might see are uh, labored breathing. Not the normal kind of congested breathing that we see in anyone who has a cold, but really hard labored breathing. Later, as the infection gets more severe and the respiratory distress gets even more severe, you might see some, some pallor or some pale color to the face, and even uh, sometimes a light blue color or even a deeper blue color around the lips, around the face, the eyes, even other parts of the body. In the emergency department, we look for a child that's ill. We look to see whether your child is in respiratory distress. If they're really working hard to breathe, uh, this concerns me very much. Uh, at this point, we would check to see what the oxygen saturation is. This is done with uh, a device called a pulse oximeter, which is a probe that's just put on the outside of your child's finger. This can tell us how well oxygen is getting from your child's lungs into the bloodstream. If the oxygen saturation is low, this tells us that the infection has affected your child's lungs such that oxygen can't get to the vital organs like it should. And we would then give oxygen, either through a nasal cannula or, or a face mask. Other things we would do is we would test the mucus, we would suction some mucus out of your child's nose, send this to our laboratory to help diagnose what virus or other type of infection might be causing the problem. Not every child who has RSV needs to be in the hospital. Not every child who has RSV needs to come to the emergency department. Some do, and it's really important to, to assess how difficult it is for your child to breathe. And if you're concerned, call your doctor. Your doctor can make some suggestions about whether you need to come into the office or come into the emergency department. So I can't really stress enough that it's important to consult with your physician